staying on a gold mine. Here is Consigner with the Antique Roadshow. Lydia Abbott, you're the managing director of Consigner Canadian Fine Art, and you are looking for treasured pieces that might be sitting in people's basements or attics right now. That's right. So Consigner, we're, we're an art auction house, but we actually do have, we do appraisals all the time, and um, we're holding on May 9th at our Consigner Gallery at 326 Dundas Street West. We'll be having sort of an open house, kind of in the same vein as Antiques Roadshow, where mm. we've all seen it, where someone brings a treasure that they maybe don't know is a treasure, and then they find out it's worth a whole lot of money. So hopefully that'll happen Friday. You recommend um, though to, to make appointments. Make an appointment. Um, you can email us at info at consigner.ca and go okay. to our website, consigner.ca. So now we're going to play high-low. Can we guess the treasure cat? Well, did someone bring this in and say to you, oh, this, this piece of junk, or I think this is worth something? Often people will come knowing what they have. Maybe they inherited it, so maybe it's not their taste anymore, or they're just looking to, to replace it with something else. So okay. for an example is one thing I could say is as appraisers, we use sort of these Ten Commandments, which are criteria that tell us maybe what to look for in valuing a work of art. So actually, we'll start with this one here. It's by Robert Pilot, who is actually really well known for his Quebec scenes. And um, this actually depicts a really well-known Toronto scene. Um, for anyone that attended U of T or drives down yeah. university, it's the Hart House. And so this, this is a factor where we look at the subject for the artist. So the subject makes it quite valuable. And this is actually $30,000 to $50,000. Wow. Yes. Amazing. And, and where did that go? Can you tell us where it came from? It's was just it just a private collection where someone's, um, you know, someone's family had collected the artwork back in perhaps the 60s and it stayed in the house for that long and now they're ready to sell it. Will so the value that, continue to rise because some people want to hang on to them if they're some, family heirlooms, right? Sometimes it does and that's why you should, you should contact us at Consigner and, and find out perhaps what the market is for an artwork and, and sort of we can help. We can okay. help now us. art is always in the, in the eye of the beholder quite often. Right. Just, to me I call this, honey, which color do you like for the basement? But is this, what is, what was right. this, how was this so brought to your attention? Track. So a couple of factors we look at here, obviously who is the artist? This, the artist of this work, I believe Dina, you know, is Jack Bush. And um, he was a Toronto artist, but he was really celebrated internationally. He. He showed, uh, showed many places. This actual, um, this artwork sh um, was exhibited in Zurich as well as New York City. So um, having that sort of provenance, that's another factor we look at. Who painted it? And, and the year is 1973 when the artist is really at the height of his career. Mm -hmm. So that also makes it valuable. And it's, although it seems very simple to do, it's actually valued at 100,000 to 150,000. Really? 100 Gs, yes. 100 Gs. It's all in the name. Yes. It's in the work, the height of his career. All right, all right. right. And actually, okay. provenance yeah. is really important in this, too, because it came from um, a corporation, Rothmans, Benson & Hedges, who actually consigned a number of really great um, artworks to our upcoming sale. And they're all on view at our auction house at 326 Dundas Street. Now, Kev, you fancy this piece. I do like this. A little bronze. See, yes, like this. you like more very historical Canadian art. So um, one thing about this work is that it actually dates to 1914. And this, art, this um, artist actually did uh, many castings of this work during his lifetime, but many were done after his lifetime. So to find an original one, that, that points to rarity as being a criteria of appraising art. 1914. 1914. So have 100 years old if this piece could talk. Right. And this artwork stayed in the same family throughout the years and is accompanied by an original invoice from the gallery from 1918. So Which is great for authenticity. Yes. Authenticity yeah. and so just the Don't market. touch it. It's Kevin. bronze. <laughs> You're so it's, bad. It's so it looks like a few. Yeah, I can tell actually. And a lot, a lot of bronze statues too have a habit of being good luck pieces that people will actually will will rub them for luck. Yeah. And I can see actually that there's some indication here that the top At of the, the head top has been, been rubbed and so is the knee has, has <laughs> been rubbed a bit. Down. You can see the wear of the bronze. Absolutely. Yeah, because it used to be Timothy Eaton statue over here that the, the statue that was in the Eaton Center for a while. People yeah. used to rub his, to his foot for luck. So yeah. what would this be valued at? This is uh, we're actually quite conservative in our auction, eight thousand to twelve thousand. Oh. But we've seen them sell for upwards of thirty thousand to forty thousand. Up. There you oh, go. Put on my maybe <laughs> list. All right. Yeah. So, so now we're actually you're going to be the art experts. Okay. All right. Good. And, um, Ooh, right. You're know. going to take a look. Okay. Let the record show. I spent okay. seven years working as a gallery guide at the McMichael Art Gallery, so I hold a weed. <laughs> It's a bit, a oh, advantage, wow, okay. rather. Oh, yes. Okay. You will know. We. Yes, I already so know. So we're looking, what are we looking okay. for? Okay, well, all of the criteria. So you could look at the, who the artist is, perhaps the subject matter. Um, sometimes, you know, people might look at the frame, and that can be a bit deceiving mm -hmm. in terms of how what the value of an artwork is as well. All the right, condition. So, mm -hmm. so we're looking, that looks like Central Park? It looks like a lake in Central Park? This I, is actually believe, Toronto. Is that, is that Toronto? This is Toronto, yeah. Okay. This is the Toronto skyline. All right, so that's Toronto from skyline. From the 1930s. From the 1930s, mm -hmm. okay. So, and then uh, the sh uh, shepherd is the artist. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a, a. Y. Jackson. Okay. So we're talking about uh, group one of, of seven. One of the group of seven. There it is. So that's. So uh, we're gonna. I. This definitely mm -hmm. is the higher. 
That's over right. this, right? That's right. So often an artist's association, who they exhibited with and, and who, what group they were part of makes it more valuable. So this is in at fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars in our current auction and this is three to four thousand oh. dollars. He was a contemporary of the artist. He painted um, alongside them. However, he um, It does look like a it Manhattan is, is, is worth a bit All right. yeah. Dina, this okay. one's yours. Yes, okay. indeed. Let's see, this one is by uh, I can't even make that out. It's a watercolor, yes. Mm -hmm. By Belle Smith. And this is by Lewis. This is by my I nephew. He's say. in kindergarten right now. No, I can't say that. Kevin. Does, I know, but it does. It, it looks very simple. I'm going to say the watercolor. The watercolor. And Kevin, same? I am going to go, only because I always have to disagree with Dina, I am going to go <laughs> with, for, for, for the piece by Lewis. Great. Okay. So. This one is valued higher. See, it, and it, really see, it pays to go yeah. against you well all the time. Maybe well the frame, and you know, it is extremely well painted. However, I will say that this artwork here, it's the story of the artist that really makes it worth a lot. She used to sell them for five to ten dollars. Now this is worth four thousand to six thousand wow. dollars. Wow! And how much is the watercolor? It's two to three thousand, so okay. not much it's different. So high, but yeah. It's beautiful. It is. It's, it's Kev, perfect. you won this one. I got that yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Where do we find you? Uh, Consigner.ca. All of our, our information is there. And come visit us May 9th at 326 Dundas Street West. Thank you. We will throw things over to Jen, who is making art of her own, the kind you can eat.